हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू ग्रीन लाइन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इफ यू आर न्यू टू वर्स वी आर अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन्वॉल्व विद एनवायरमेंटल लिटरेसी एंड आर बेस्ड इन मुंबई वी रन थ्री कैंपेन्स द ग्रीन स्कूल्स कैंपेन विच इज इन्वॉल्व विद स्कूल किड्स वेन वी एड्यूकेट दैम अबाउट वेरियस एनवायरमेंटल इशूज Next, we have the Green Lead Volunteer Program, where we foster leadership skills in college-going youth in order to encourage them to take up environmental issues. And lastly, we have the Green Lifestyle Initiative, where we encourage and guide the citizens to adopt greener lifestyle by making sustainable choices. This particular video. falls under the green schools campaign every year team green line tackles an environmental issue under this campaign last year it was about sustainability and me where we learned how the climate affects us and the food we eat it also affects the biodiversity which in turn impacts the food that we produce thereby affecting the humans if you haven't watched last year's sessions the links are provided in the description box below do check them out this year's theme is ecosystem restoration under this theme we will learn about eco restoration in three parts firstly understanding the eco restoration next will be the restoration plan and finally we will learn about various eco restoration project around us This video is about understanding eco restoration where we will learn what eco restoration exactly means why do we need to restore the ecosystems what all can be restored and finally the advantages of eco restoration let's see what eco restoration actually means ecosystem restoration is a process where we humans assist the recovery of a damaged or a degraded ecosystem so as to fasten the restoration process all kinds of ecosystem can be restored including forest farmland cities wetland also oceans rivers and lakes the main aim here is to create a self supporting ecosystem which will require no human intervention post the restoration process but the next question that will come to your mind is why should we restore the degraded ecosystems won't the earth heal itself well we humans have been dumping plastic and waste everywhere mining and quarrying the earth for various minerals and rocks we are also cutting down trees for our greed of land timber and various other resources while polluting different water bodies across the globe these are just a few of our activities through which the earth's natural system is being disturbed all these anthropogenic activities are releasing immense carbon into the atmosphere which has eventually led to the problem of global warming today the earth's climate is changing rapidly and if no action is taken now we will have to face severe consequences in the future than we are today even if we stop these polluting activities and let the earth to heal itself it will take a lot of time probably decades or even centuries and at this moment we are racing against time hence it's time we act now we only have one earth with limited resources but have you thought if we continue destroying every inch of land what will we be left behind with well we do have a solution to this we can start restoring the degraded ecosystems immediately i know the next question that will come to your mind is 
what all can be restored well from what we have learned in the session so far restoration is required in places that are directly or indirectly damaged due to human activities we can restore lands that are eroded due to immense deforestation and cutting of mountains forest and other lands where weeds and non native species have overtaken the existing plant species can also be restored by removing exotic species and reintroducing the native ones lands which are disturbed due to deforestation activity can also be restored different parts of seas and oceans where the habitat is disturbed and the corals are bleached due to ocean acidification these also can be restored we can also clean up and rejuvenate the polluted lakes and beaches and bring back the life in it the dumping grounds with heaps of garbage can also be reclaimed and be converted to a lush green place apart from these there are various types of places that can be restored ranging from mangrove forest mining areas and also by conserving various species well till now i hope you have understood what eco restoration is and why it is important let's also look at some of its many advantages firstly due to eco restoration the degraded land or water body can be restored at a faster rate it will also aid in proper regulation of air and water restoring ecosystems will help in carbon sequestration thereby helping us conserve and preserve the biodiversity that are vulnerable to climate change via restoration we can achieve various sustainable development goals as well restoration will also provide livelihood opportunities to many people also safeguarding the indigenous communities while using their knowledge in restoration it will also help in reducing the adverse effects of climate change thereby reducing the calamities like frequent floods storms landslides etc lastly a good environment will eventually improve people's physical and mental health now i know you might be thinking but how can i as an individual do something big like restoring a land or a water body but don't worry you can help we all can there are simple changes we all can make in our lives and local communities to work towards ecological restoration and conservation of our natural resources as a beginner you can bring changes in your lifestyle and pave your way towards sustainable living the most important step to restore our ecosystem is conservation we can use our resources mindfully such that we don't damage or degrade any ecosystems locally conservation is an easy action that you all can implement in your daily lives something simple like turning off the taps to conserve water also conserving the fuel by using public transport or walking or cycling to the nearby destination further you can follow the 5 r principle of refuse reduce reuse repurpose and finally recycle adding on to it you can also create awareness among others and build a community that is also environmentally conscious you can go for clean up drives as well Eco restoration initiatives can be launched by almost anyone from from government to development agencies to businesses communities and also individuals 
restoring a small piece of road near a house that is being dumped by waste in the neighborhood is also an example of restoration you will learn more about this in the upcoming episodes on how individuals have the power to make a change i hope you will take steps from your end to conserve the limited resources that we have after all it's our future and our planet we have to live on to it so it's on us whether to live a healthy life in harmony with nature or a life with oxygen cylinders on our back with this thought i thank you all for tuning in do check out the quiz given below in the description box and if you have learned something from this session click the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more content like this thank you once again